Welcome everyone, Hetzlik Rikriminaloita. I am Sir Nigel, and today we are going to play Fester's Quest on the original Nintendo Entertainment System of Entertainment. Oh, aliens. Because aliens are so out of place when you're dealing with the Adams family. Let us begin. This is a game where you absolutely must use a controller with turbo fire because otherwise every time you hit the button, that's it. And you just are going to have to be pounding that button like this and this and this if you don't use turbo fire. And your thumb will get very tired very quickly, but if you have turbo fire, then you just do this. Much better. Yes, it might be cheating slightly. Maybe. I'm not even sure if it is. But it's far better than having to mash the button constantly. Now this particular gun upgrade here is somewhat useless in a way. It's not that great because of its its curved wave pattern. It tends to miss a lot of enemies. So we have to get across that rift in the road supposedly made by the aliens. But obviously we can't just cross it, so we have to find out how to get across there. Now, it's been some time since I've played this game, so I know on the pause screen, on the start screen, you have all of these various things you can use, like light bulbs. I believe you use that to light up dark dungeons and dark areas. I mean, that would make sense. It's a light bulb, right? And you don't want the red gun because that actually uh, reduces your gun by one level, so you have to be careful about which pickups you pick up. And a whip, still don't remember how to use that. Oh, come on. What I would like to do is get the next level of gun, thank you, which is much more effective because it basically affects everything in its wider path. Oh, bouncy, bouncy goes the alien frogs. And as you can already see, this is one of those games where uh, whenever you move past the screen and then come back again, the various creatures have respond, uh, or respond, not responded it did did. All right, green aliens are too much for us. And that's the game, isn't that fantastic? We're gonna give it one more try. Continue. Not much point in that because, well, we're just at the beginning of the level. All right, this time we won't go down to that lower right hand area because we are not ready for that yet. Unfortunately, we have this crap gun again, which although it does not actually shoot crap, it shoots in a crappy way. Ah. Language and grammar! Okay, it takes care of the orange bits and bobs just fine. But we'll go this way this time. The not-so-smiley, smiley faces of alien... alien bugs. Why would they come to Earth if all they're going to do is just float around and spit out bugs? That doesn't really seem to serve much purpose. I mean, you would think you'd come to Earth for a number of other reasons. Maybe the shopping. But certainly not to simply float around and spit out bugs. And now, dear Uncle Fester is walking very, very slowly. I wonder if we need... To get an item to take care of that, perhaps? Let's see. A potion? 
which we don't have any of, but maybe a potion would do something. Let's see. What does a hot dog do? Apparently nothing. And then select actually pauses. Well, I'm going to figure out how to get rid of this slowness. And then I'll be back because this isn't very entertaining being so slow, nor is it very entertaining to play when you're having to just creep around like this. So it turns out I had to restart the game because I have no idea how to get rid of that slowness. I suppose that the answer might be to use a potion, but I was not able to find one. So I guess the moral of this story is don't let any of the little alien bugs touch you. Now we can continue our journey to try to find how to get across that gap in the road. Probably by using one of these staircases here. Alien bugs, alien bugs, go away. Alien bugs, alien bugs. No, 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 no. No slow alien bugs. Actually, let's go up and visit these houses first. Maybe we can get a potion or something from one of those. I seem to remember the houses uh, doing something. As amazing as these super powerful upgraded guns are, they don't work that well in, in small spaces. Okay, here's actually both a house and a staircase down. So let's go visit the house. Let's see here. Do we hit st start? No. Select? No. Can we knock on the door in some way? No. Oh! Yes, I think I know. I think you have to use a key on these doors to get in. Okay, so start key. Yes? Yes? Uh, yes, key. Wednesday gives you vice grips. Why would she lock the door? And what would I use vice grips for? Other than gripping. Okay, now we'll try C. Yes, yeah, six keys remaining. Now we'll try... Okay, so what you do is you select the item you want to use here on the start screen. And then you hit the button when you want to use that item. Like the key. Pugsley gives you TNT, which is also not a potion, but okay. Let's try this stairway next. Which... Yes. Okay, now here's probably where we use a light bulb. Light bulb, yes. And... There's no way you can use that particular gun in the dungeon area like that because it just, it just hits the walls. Here we are, we're back. Maybe that's why... They give you the red gun pickups, the ones that reduce the power of your guns, so that way you can get the gun level that's appropriate to the area you're going in. Like, if you wanted a, a gun that would work better in smaller, confined places like this, then you'd want to make sure that your gun wasn't upgraded too far, and that if it was, you could bring it back down to the appropriate level. Like this. Okay, now, gotta stay away from those flies. Now, we want to head up or north or whatever to get across the street. See, now, if we get that red gun, then this gun isn't as powerful, but it works even better in these small corridors. Okay. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Just an endless supply of little blue alien frogs. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we've made it to the other end of the sewer system. Or at least one of the exits. At least I thought we had. Maybe we have to, uh... Isn't this a ladder? Yes? Do we have anything that can help with a ladder? I'm not seeing anything! Ha 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 ha! Oh! Oh! Yes, yes, the ladder brings you right up here. But the little whoopity boopity pea shooter I have is really only appropriate for the sewer. And not really this, oh come on, not really this area of the game. Quick, quick upgrades, upgrades, let's, lots and lots of upgrades. Lots and lots of upgrades. Oh, come on. Too bad you can't move diagonally. Okay, let's get a key. Go in here. Ah, potions! Okay, now we have those in case we need to use them sometime. Now, is there a hot dog stand around here somewhere? Because we do have some money. And a hot dog stand could help us. Or are the hot dog stands only on the other side of the map? As long as we're going to be up here... Oh, look at that, little insect alien. As long as we're going to be up here on this side of the map, we might as well try to get our gun upgraded. Okay, hot dog stand. Oh, crap, that thing jumps like crazy when it gets close. Okay. Now... TNT? Do your thing, do your thing! Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I uh, didn't do anything! Just have to avoid that, I suppose. Tries to jump out of the way, and quite effectively at that. Look at that. Ah, uh, got it. But now we need to go back. Back to the hot dog stand. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's one of those. Okay, run, 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 run. Ah, oh, these weapons. They don't do the trick when you need the trick to be done. Back to the hot dog stand. Oh, come on, you wave gun thingy! Okay, we're just gonna go somewhere else. Maybe find another hot dog stand somewhere else. Because otherwise, it's just an endless stream of these alien frog things. And trying to use this wave gun, and there's the whip, which I don't know how to use, but trying to use this wave gun in this outdoor area just doesn't work. And I was right by that new door, too, about to go check it out. Yeah, let's see, let's see where continue puts us. Does it, no, nope, it just puts us right back at the beginning of this area. All right, everyone, we're going to finish the video here. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give us some of that like button action. Comment down below if you feel so inclined. Tune in again next time for even more videos. And remember, if you believe in the unicorns, they'll believe in you.